Y'all get ready? Yes, you get Y'all ready. We are gathered here today to sip some tea, honey. So make sure you guys have your teacups ready because this tea is what? Piping hot. Hey you guys, it's time for another Lovely Tea TV shout out. So for all your tea sipping needs, make sure you guys go on to lovelytea.net. And if you have Amazon Prime, make sure you go on to amazon.com, search Lovely Tea, that's L-O-V-E-L-Y-T-E-A in Amazon, and everything will come up, including my tea and my accessories. And also, if you guys purchase a bag of tea, if you purchase any of the accessories, and you guys enjoy them, you guys thoroughly like them, please make sure to leave a review. Thank you so much for your support and stay tuned for the video. Hey you guys, I hope you guys are doing good. So I am super duper excited because today, after months of me waiting, I bought my tickets months ago. I am going to go see Beyonce and Jay-Z live in concert tonight on the On The Run 2 tour. And I've been hearing a lot of good things about this. I've never seen either one of these people on concert. So I'm super excited. After I saw her performance at Coachella, I was like, you know what, uh -uh, I gotta go get a concert ticket. I want to see Beyonce live. So I'm super excited to go down there today. I hope I run into some of my tea sippers. I know a few guys bought tickets as well. So on top of me going to the On The Run 2 tour, I'm also going to be bouncing the very next day. I'm leaving out tomorrow morning. I have to head out to North Carolina. So I'll be in North Carolina for like the weekend. I'll be in the South. I might do a possible meet and greet. I'm not sure yet. I'm going down there to go visit friends and family. One of my really good friends, she's throwing this huge Harlem Nights birthday bash, honey. And I got my little outfit i am ready to kick it and have a good old funky time okay this summer has been wonderful i've been all over i've met a lot of my tea sippers and it's been a blessing so i cannot wait to get down to north carolina so anyways you may have guessed it this video is about beyonce okay queen beyonce was trending all over social media because she recently did a magazine shoot for vogue magazine and on top of her shooting in this magazine she also decided to talk about the birth of her twins and how she went through a lot she was really sick she developed toxicity and most importantly she decided to address her fupa issues okay if you guys don't know Beyonce has been kind of sporting a gut lately she's not really rocking the six pack that we're all used to seeing her rocking and she's choosing to talk about this and wear her fupa proudly after all this woman gave birth to twins she's a mother of three so it shouldn't be surprising that she like a regular you know normal female is struggling to get back to her pre-baby weight and she goes on to talk about this in Vogue magazine I'm gonna go ahead and read to you guys what she had to say in Vogue magazine go ahead and check this out so in the September issue of Vogue magazine Beyonce says this after the birth of my first child I believed in the things that society said about my body and how it should look I put pressure on myself to lose all the baby weight within three months scheduled a small tour to assure that I would do it looking back that was crazy I was still breastfeeding when I performed at the reveal show in Atlantic City in 2012 after the twins, I approached things very differently. I was 218 pounds. The day I gave birth to Rumi and Sir, I was swollen from toxemia. I had been on bed rest for over a month. My health and my baby's health were in danger, so I had an emergency C-section. We spent many weeks in the NICU, and my husband was a soldier and such a strong support system for me. I am proud to have witnessed his strength and his evolution as a man, a best friend, and a father. I was in survival mode, and I did not grasp it all until months later. Today, I have a connection to many parents who have been through such an experience. After a C-section, my core felt different. It had been a major surgery. Some of your organs are shifted temporarily and in rare cases removed temporarily during delivery. I'm not sure everyone understands that. I needed time to heal, to recover. During my recovery, I gave myself self-love and self-care. I embraced being curvier. I accepted what my body wanted to be. After six months, I started preparing for Coachella, and I became vegan temporarily, gave up coffee, alcohol, and all fruit drinks. But I was patient with myself, and I enjoyed my fuller curves. My kids and husband did too. I think it's important for women and men to see and appreciate the beauty in their natural bodies. That's why I stripped away the wigs, the hair extensions, and used very little makeup for this shoot. To this day, my arms, shoulders, breasts, and thighs are fuller. I have a little mommy pooch, and I'm in no rush to get rid of it. And whenever I'm ready to get a six-pack, I will go into beast zone and work my ass off until I have it. But right now, my little fupa and I feel like we're meant to be.
All right, so you guys just heard what Beyonce had to say. You guys got a chance to see her pictures in Vogue magazine. You guys also saw the Beehive basically saying that they were all canceling their damn memberships because now FUPAs are in, okay? So I really enjoyed seeing this part of Beyonce. I enjoyed her talking about her twins and what she went through because, again, for y'all who don't know, in the South there is a saying, when a woman is in labor, when a woman is getting ready to have a child, that is the closest thing to death, okay? That's why I've never gotten on board with all these snapback people pictures and people snapping back after two and three weeks they're putting unnecessary pressure on themselves now granted some people can't have a baby and look like they didn't have a kid at all I know after I had my first son I literally was able to put on a swimsuit you know what I'm saying like two weeks later okay I went from 119 pounds had my son and I only got up to like 125 but I understand for every woman that's not the case with my second child it was definitely not the case it took me a lot longer to work that off you know what I'm saying but nobody should be rushing to snap back within two three weeks and it seems like Instagram and social media you know have really perpetuated this and it has a lot of regular women feeling bad about themselves so I'm glad that Beyonce spoke about this I'm glad she's being honest and I'm glad that she's letting women know that there's no rush to get right back okay I mean, should you still be carrying baby weight three years after the damn baby's a toddler and can feed himself? Probably not, okay? But, you know, three weeks, three months, six months, that's all right. You know, give your body time to heal naturally. Nobody should be running to snap back for the gram. So I really appreciated Beyonce's words. But again, you always have naysayers and negative people. And once again, our favorite female rapper who never was, Azealia Banks, she had a lot to say about Beyonce's new Vogue magazine spread and the things that she had to say. Now, that was just a snippet of her interview. Of course, her interview in Vogue is a lot longer, but I'm going to go ahead and read to you guys what Azealia Zillia Banks had to say about the situation. Go ahead and check this out. So Zillia Banks says, I realized that my ex-dancer, Ashanti, choreographed for Beyonce and stole the original choreography at Jip Jack made for the account Contessa. Beyonce needs to get over herself and just hire me because even though Coachella was cute, it was still more of the same. Like Beyonce loves to push this female empowerment shit, but it's always trying to steal from talented women and outdo them. But she really never does. It always looks like Giselle is doing her best Beyonce impression. I really hope she gets rid of herself soon and humbles herself enough to accept the visions and the full projects that women who admire her put together for her. Like we don't need any more Beyonce thought moments. No one needs Beyonce doing hashtag OOTDs like she's... Like she's some up and coming fashion toast bitch. It's like what's next? Beyonce's Fashion Nova calibration. I have no clue why she wants to be a regular bitch. It makes me sad. All right, so you guys just heard what Azealia Banks had to say. And honestly, I can't take this girl seriously, okay? If you guys don't remember, just a few months ago, back in December, Azealia Banks was the same person crying tattoo tears and apologizing to Beyonce for her past tantrums and for disrespecting her in the past. So obviously this girl is full of shit. The same way she apologized to Nicki Minaj months ago for her to once again go off on Nicki Minaj, start a bunch of bullshit with Nicki Minaj because Nicki Minaj refused to collaborate with her and I feel like she's doing the same thing to Beyonce okay because she apologized to Beyonce a few months ago and now she's dragging her my thing is this how are you blaming Beyonce because your ex choreographer that you hired took moves and gave them to Beyonce that's on your ex choreographer you know what I'm saying she's probably tired of you losing jobs because of your mouth and doing stupid shit on social media your choreographer probably realized in the long run that she was wasting her time working with you because you're always writing checks that your ass can't cash you're starting a bunch of shit on social media you're losing shows people are not booking you so her choreography is literally going to waste okay so that's probably why she packed up her shit and went over to Beyonce because she knows at least if she's working underneath Beyonce all of her hard work and choreography will be shown to the masses, okay? Unlike when she was working for you, nobody barely saw that shit because you're not booking shows like that, Azealia. Like I said, at this point in time, I believe that Azealia Banks is just trolling for attention. You know, like I said, she's always so quick to clap back on social media. But once again, like I'm wilding out, when it comes to, you know, dealing with folks face to face, she does not bring that same energy. So while she's upset and trying to call Beyonce out for supposedly stealing her choreography, 
choreography. Beyonce's living her best life. She's enjoying her husband. She's enjoying her twins. And her tour is literally being sold out in several different states. A lot of people are going to the On The Run tour. They're excited to see Beyonce perform. I cannot say the same for Azealia Banks, okay? So anyways, y'all, let's go ahead and get the discussion popping. Go ahead and leave a comment. Let me know your thoughts on this entire crazy situation. Once again, concerning Azealia Banks coming for Beyonce over her Vogue magazine spread and over her Vogue magazine interview. Let me know what you guys think about what Beyonce said in Vogue magazine. And then how do you guys feel about this whole Instagram snapback culture? Are you proud of Beyonce for basically keeping it real and saying that people should not be running to snap back and instead they should be embracing their bodies, they should be embracing their curves, and it should be about, you know, being healthy and being there for their children as opposed to trying to snap back for social media and for, you know, tour dates and for other people and things like that. And then how do y'all feel about the bullshit that Azealia Banks is once again spewing out her mouth, even though just a few months ago she was apologizing to Beyonce and now she's back in her feelings like Drake, okay? So anyways, y'all, let's go ahead and get the discussion popping. Go ahead and leave a comment. All right, deuces. Hey you guys, it's your girl T and I hope you really enjoyed that video. If you want to know more about my look of the day or if you want a way to contact me concerning advertisement and sponsorship deals, definitely feel free to click my description box. There's plenty of information in there. Please stay tuned for the next video. Talk to y'all later.